Let's get into individually animating characters in Fusion like this. I set up a Fusion composition so that I can show you how to use this feature that allows you to animate individual characters. So it's a very simple setup. All you need is these nodes right here. You need a background node, a text node, and a merge node. And then you just need to write whatever text you want in there. I put DaVinci Resolve because I just needed text to work with for this video. First thing we're gonna need to do is go to the inspector over here, right click on the text box, and choose character level styling. Doing that will activate this modifier tab here, which has all of the character level styling attributes in it. In the modifier tab here, what we're gonna wanna do is start animating character level styling by going right here and hitting the keyframe button. That will start allowing us to animate each individual character. Now I'm gonna start showing you how to animate different aspects of each character individually. You can also animate multiple characters at a time. The way you select a character is just by taking your mouse, going into the canvas here, and dragging over the character or characters you want to select. So see, this will select one character, and this will select all characters. I would highly recommend when using this modifier that you change the vertical anchor to be the bottom of the text and then move the text where you want in the canvas. If you don't put the vertical anchor at the bottom, let's show you. So if you don't put the vertical anchor at the bottom, what will happen when you go to animate something like the D here, the text will move down away from its position in the canvas that you have it set in. So in unless you want that, you may want to make sure that the V anchor right here, that the vertical anchor is at the bottom of the text. And the text is where you want it in the canvas. So next, here's how you animate different aspects of the characters. So let's start with the D here. We'll animate the size. So let's go into the modifier panel here and we'll take the size up a decent amount to start with and then we'll just animate it down. So we'll go 10 frames in and animate it back to normal. So now what you'll see is from zero to 10, it's just shrinking down to its normal size. Next, let's take this A here, and instead of making it a white A, we'll make it a different color. So let's start here on the 10 marker, and since there's already a keyframe there, we can just go over one frame, set a new keyframe, and then we want to come over and we'll go another 10 keyframes in, and let's change the color to lime. So now when we look at this, the color changes to lime right away because there's no gradient here, so we're not moving ingredients. Boom, just a lime A. And so it's just an animated change in color. Next, what we can do is we can also change the rotation of a character. Let's take all of these characters here and we'll rotate them against the Z axis. It looks really weird, but we'll start them there and then we'll go another few frames in and reset them to normal. So now what you'll see is they start out fine and then boom, they, they knock over and start going again. So that just scratches the iceberg on the things that you can do with the character animation tool in DaVinci Resolve, but it allows you to open up the door to create really awesome kinetic typography in Fusion.